various questions arise in the context of what I call the Gupta Zuma state capture. One of them is why Parliament did not stop this. The evidence that was led into the Commission is quite clear that Parliament had all the powers to stop it, but it did not stop it because the majority party in Parliament didn't want to stop it. Many times opposition parties tabled motions for the establishment of inquiries to look into the allegations about the influence of the Guptas on the president. But the majority party did not allow this. A number of times, opposition parties tabled motions of no confidence in the president as a way of wanting to stop this. But of course, the majority party would have none of it. Of course, the, of course parliament operates on the basis of the majority. Whatever decisions are taken by parliament are taken on the basis of majority. But a question that arises in the context of what we are talking about is whether members of parliament who saw the evidence that was piling in the media, in the public domain, about what the Guptas were doing over the years and continued to refuse for a long time to establish inquiries and to let something be done about the head of state, the question arises whether they were acting to protect the interests of the people or they were acting to protect the interests of the party. I know that there are arguments for and against this, but I would have thought that there are certain matters where members of parliament ought to say, here we are dealing with the interests of the people. Our salaries are paid from the taxes of, these, of the people and it is the interest of the people that must prevail. Another question that arises in the light of what happened, namely the failure of parliament to prevent state capture, is whether If for some reason the Guptas were to be back and they would not be in jail and they would be free in South Africa, they started all over again 
parliament would act differently from the way they acted before. That is, if they were again, that is the Guptas, have a president who is president of the majority party and over whom they have the kind of influence they had with the previous head of state, would parliament be able to act differently? I doubt that they would. Because the evidence that was led before the commission, that was given before the commission by both the national chairperson of the majority party and the president of the majority party was quite clear that members of the majority party are not expected or should not vote in support, a motion of no confidence in the president of the country who is their president or the president of their party. If that is so, it's unlikely that the majority party would act differently and therefore parliament would act differently. And the question arises, does that mean we are at a risk that what happened to us as a country, which saw us losing billions of runs, could happen again at some stage and parliament would not be able to prevent it.